October 20th through the 26th is Winter Weather Awareness Week in the Pacific Northwest. Strong and damaging winds are common in Washington, Oregon, and Idaho during the winter season. This presentation briefly discusses the weather patterns that create strong winds and what you can do to prepare for a wind event. Let's begin by describing what causes the wind to blow. Winds blow from areas of high pressure to areas of low pressure. Winds are nature's way of equalizing pressure, which is the second law of thermodynamics. That is, higher energy states move toward lower energy states. The pressure gradient force is what drives winds. Pressure gradients are lines of equal pressure that you see on many surface weather maps. The stronger the pressure gradients, the stronger the winds. The weather map on the bottom left corner shows the tight pressure gradient during the historical Columbus Day Storm in 1962. A tight pressure gradient at the surface can be responsible for significant winds. Combine a tight pressure gradient and strong winds in the upper atmosphere, then you may have a case of extreme winds. The graphic you see here is an image of a very strong jet stream across the United States. The jet stream can direct storm systems, provide upper level support to enhance precipitation, and also force strong winds in the upper atmosphere down towards the surface under certain conditions. Many locations in Washington, Oregon, and Idaho are susceptible to strong or even violent winds that accelerate down the lee side of a mountain. These complex cases, called downslope winds, are small scale and often produce localized damaging winds. Strong winds in the upper atmosphere may create mountain waves. Sometimes the waves are trapped with little to no effect in the lower elevations. However, there are times when the strong ridgetop winds associated with the mountain wave accelerate to the lower elevations with sudden strong wind gust. This winter, winds can create more problems than property damage. Extreme windshield, snowdrifts, and blizzards are also major weather concerns. Strong winds and snow can be a deadly combination. Before traveling or venturing outdoors this winter, be sure to check the latest forecast. Dress appropriately. Wear several layers of loose-fitting, lightweight, warm clothing. Outer garments should be tightly woven, water repellent, and hooded. Wear a hat because much of your body heat can be lost from your head. Try to stay dry and out of the wind. October 20th through the 26th is Winter Weather Awareness Week in the Pacific Northwest. On behalf of the National Weather Service offices in Seattle, Spokane, Portland, Pendleton, Medford, Boise, Missoula, and Pocatello, I want to thank you for listening.